By now, we've all experienced the negative impacts of self-isolation and quarantine. Have you ever experienced difficulties? Do you feel the anxiety? Welcome, everyone. In today's video, we're going to tell you positive self-isolation habits to boost manifesting power and what happens to your body when you're lonely. Fortunately, there are lots of effective strategies to strengthen our manifesting abilities and combat the negative effects of self-isolation, allowing us to continue being creative. But before we proceed the further video, if you're new to this channel, remember go ahead and to hit the bell icon to subscribe so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the future. Are you and your partner having more arguments? Are you going crazy for the kids? Do you find yourself at a loss for how to handle everything? The state of one's mind is crucial, particularly when one is alone. Everyone is prepared to fight or flee. Stress levels raise when one is alone at home. Now is the time to consciously work on releasing the stress and strain within of us. If self-care isn't possible, then what good is self-isolation? What is it? This is just staying in and cutting ourselves off from the outside world. It is therefore entirely normal to feel lonely at this time. Even though many of us live in communities with company, we are easily bored and want for new energies and distractions. People are social beings by nature. When we are unable to visit relatives, go out in public or interact with friends, we must find other ways to communicate. Fortunately, we have this ability thanks to technology in the present day. It's crucial to start engaging in activities to combat social isolation when staying at home. Continue to communicate it's time to use technology to keep connected, if you haven't already. When you isolate yourself, having other people around will help you maintain perspective. You'll come to understand that you're not experiencing this alone and that others can relate to all you're going through, perhaps other folks with children and other people who have obnoxious roommates. Additional individuals that understand, tell your tales and make an effort to amuse people. It innately improves your mood. You can effortlessly FaceTime with other individuals using your phone. You may simply do this on your PC, tablet, or phone. You can connect for free with WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, and Skype. People may stay connected for free from anywhere in the world with Zoom, which is also free. We perceive a return to normalcy when we maintain our connection. Your levels of endorphins rise and your loneliness disappears, returning your happy sensations. Find encouraging online communities to participate in. These days you can join online with a wide variety of groups. LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Facebook are the most popular websites. Almost any topic you can think of has social groups. There are countless areas to pick from, including cooking, politics, investing, gaming, juicing, sewing, manifesting, yoga, meditation, business, money, parenting, and healthy eating and diet. Anything that interests you can be found. It may be a terrific approach to pick up a new pastime or come up with inventive ways to find extra things to do when you're at home. Through these organizations, friendships can also be formed. In the unlikely event that you click with someone in particular, Zoom meetings allow you to arrange private video chats. There are even group chats available for you to enjoy. The possibilities are endless, so sign up, get moving, and start your own group right now. Give love. You ought to be doing this if you're fortunate enough to have folks in your life who you can connect with. The best method to keep your emotions stable is to share love with your friends and family. By learning the five love languages, you may enhance your relationships and make the most of this wonderful opportunity to reconnect with old friends. We have more time and less distractions, so it's a good idea to concentrate on your relationships. Is there someone you've been meaning to get in touch with or have been thinking about? Do you have any family members with whom you haven't spoken recently? We establish a connection with the universe's global vibrating soul. We spread love. Our lives seem happier and more purposeful. We won't be worrying about our goals, investments, or house when our lives come to an end and we transition into the next one. We'll be reflecting on the individuals and our lives who reciprocate our affection. Now is the perfect time to spread love. Healthy routines for social isolation. We are currently struggling with both social and self-isolation. Regardless of one's personality type, loneliness can strike at any time. We can experience some social interaction even when we are just walking about, dining out, or attending a 
Speaking to others is not always the only way to engage in social interaction. It simply refers to being a member of a lively community, detecting the good energy that comes from being in the company of other people. While under quarantine, there are numerous activities we can engage in that provide a similar feeling of fulfillment and positive reinforcement. All of them center on empowering both your surroundings and your intellect. You can start forming healthy habits for self-isolation right immediately by engaging in these activities. Put mindfulness into practice. In case you are unfamiliar with mindfulness, it is a technique that millions of people employ to achieve greater inner peace and calm. In its most basic form, mindfulness is the deliberate willingness to improve your mind's relationship with your ideas and feelings. We're giving ourselves permission to unwind and become more mindful and deliberate. For instance, aware individuals typically have reduced reactivity. They resist letting their emotions control how they respond. You can practice mindfulness 12 times a day. You can achieve this by just pausing what you're doing, breathing deeply, closing your eyes, and maintaining an optimistic attitude. People frequently confuse awareness with meditation, but the two are not the same. You can practice mindfulness activities for as little as five seconds, anywhere, at any time of day, and for any length of time. With this, you can still get things done in under a minute. It takes a little more time and effort to practice mindful meditation. It all comes down to creating a serene atmosphere free from outside influences. Staying there means there may be more distractions, so it could be harder to concentrate. You can sit on your bed on a chair or on the floor if you can manage to make it work. That is all up as you put this into practice. You sh In the easy stance with a cross log, sit. Place your hands on your knees or in your lap. Inhale deeply and release the breath slowly. Concentrate on the things you wish to add to your life. As you go through this procedure, experience the joy and happiness. Get rid of negativity from your mind. Your brain processes thousands of bits of information every second on any given it is imperative that you maintain mental clarity in order to sustain a sound, well-rounded viewpoint. Here are five methods to purge negativity from your thoughts. Switch off the TV. The television industry and the media are unrelenting. Commercial advertising, fear-mongering, and a variety of shows that can exacerbate your condition are all present. Don't spend too much time on social media. Set the phone aside. It would be like if you were watching TV Maintain a tidy environment. The ancient Chinese art of Feng Shui involves minimizing and arranging your environment to help you feel more harmonious and clear-headed. See all. What is Feng Shui and how to establish balance in your house? Meditate. Every day, millions of individuals practice meditation. You may connect your mind, body, and spirit through it. It's all about calming down, generating uplifting alpha waves, and keeping a good outlook exercise stress chemicals like cortisol and adrenaline are released during exercise endorphins take its place and when those feel-good vibes travel throughout your body you wake up feeling renewed and invigorated remain at home and get things done regretfully there is a crisis in the world this is already known to us we can respond to this in a variety of ways we can allow anxiety panic and terror to take hold we can dwell on the negative and go farther down the rabbit hole of worry and anxiety. Alternatively, we have the option to prioritize our own needs, make good use of this time, and by creating a vision board at last, we can increase our ability to manifest. A dream board is another name for this. Look through your favorite publications and cut out images of the people, things, or ideas you want to draw into your life. We have the ability to plan our life, take up a new pastime, and study books to learn new things. Make the most of your time at home by working on projects. Engage in constructive visualization. When you are meditating, positive imagination is the most fruitful and advantageous. Once more, this is due to the fact that completing this exercise successfully and effectively requires a little more focus and concentration. The foundation of the manifestation process is positive visualization. At this point, we begin to see good things and feelings permeating our leaves. In addition to thinking, we also feel we must visualize every aspect of this procedure in order to optimize its efficacy. Consider what the office might look like if you were thinking about using your own business to manifest wealth and prosperity. 
you want to visualize entering your own corner office and going through the door and hallway. How does it smell? How does it feel to be in the driver's seat? Allow it to infuse you with joy and positivity. It would be quite beneficial in this process to have a dream board handy so you can mentally reproduce those visuals. Utilize your heart energy to boost your manifestation power. You want to concentrate your heart energy in self-isolation to enhance your manifesting ability. The human body as a whole is charged with electromagnetic force and the electrical field generated by the heart is 60 times stronger than that of the brain. During this process, we want to focus on your heart by using our intention point. The core of our ability to manifest is our intention point. It embodies all of our good intentions and aspirations to bring the manifestation process to its complete completion your manifestation will be weaker if you do not fully commit to your objective. You will therefore experience manifestations beyond your wildest dreams. If you concentrate your heart, mind, and soul, these are the physical effects of loneliness on your body. You pass away more quickly. Every time I get that wonderful, blissful high that makes me want to text cancel every appointment, it's generally followed by a brief moment of existential dread. Am I isolating myself? Is a question I frequently ask myself before opening a seamless 32 tabs on my browser and spending two hours reading Wikipedia entries about cults. Yes, I suppose. How then does a person's ongoing quest for ultimate independence impact their health? Are there physical, physiological indicators of loneliness that one can observe and sense in their body? Naturally, of course. Life is an awful dream. I'm kidding. However, controlling our exposure to one another is a difficult task. While everyone needs time alone, Experts concur that in order to experience the ever-elusive state of satisfaction, we require a significant quantity of social engagement as well as a small number of very important interactions. There are actual bodily signs of loneliness. Fortunately, there are effective and straightforward ways to overcome loneliness. Together, let's discuss loneliness, starting with your physical state. These are the six things that decrease when you're lonely. One, your levels of stress chemicals increase it should come as no surprise to you that cortisol levels decrease when you are able to socialize, as you are likely aware that your body creates more cortisol when under stress. Research indicates that those who confide in a friend about their troubles, or to put it more tactfully, moan about them, have a physical sense of relief after doing so. You feel less physically stressed when you can discuss your small issues with a buddy or coworker rather than holding it inside. Your body may not be able to manage too much cortisol, so discuss your troubles with a friend before you bottle them up and get overwhelmed. Two, your brain switches to a fight or flight state, which makes it more difficult to fall asleep. Loneliness might seem like a dire situation to our social selves, and study indicates that when you're lonely, your brain can create an excess of norepinephrine, a hormone that's key signal during the fight or flight reaction. Even though all you want is to crash and spend some time alone, it becomes more difficult to turn off and rest when your body triggers fight or flight reactions in response to stress. It's sort of a bitch to be a member of a social species, huh? We frequently withdraw from society by calling off events and sending those adorable endearing. Oh gee, totally forgot this was tonight. Text, text. Try leaving your apartment to meet a friend or just take a stroll in a busy area, like a park, to take a break from your thoughts unless you have plans to be productive in your alone. Three. Your white blood cell count rises, perhaps leading to chronic inflammation. Cortisol combats inflammation, but loneliness triggers a fight or flight response that causes your body to release norepinephrine, which actually suppresses your body's natural virus defenses and increases the creation of white blood cells. When you're under stress, your cortisol levels rise. But when you're nervous, your body is less responsive to cortisol's anti-inflammatory properties. Over time, Loneliness has been linked to a number of conditions that are related to chronic inflammation, including infection, cancer, and viral sensitivity. For an effective way to be both sociable and health conscious, consider joining a gym, enrolling in a fitness class, or simply going for a jog in the park. Four, you literally get colder. Researchers in the Netherlands discovered in 2012 that a person's body temperature could drop simply by thinking about being socially ignored. Additionally, the same lab found that people become colder just by remembering what it was like to be socially ostracized. To put it plainly, 
Loneliness can be eerie, both the actual physical warmth that resembles social engagement, like a cup of hot coffee held between your hands, and the symbolic, psychological warmth of social interaction can help alleviate the chilly chill of loneliness, as those researchers and grandmothers around the world would imply. Physical warmth and the sensation of being loved have a true mind-body link, which is beneficial to Starbucks company. Five, codependent cuffing season steals your romantic brain. When the fall and winter months bring lower temperatures and a tenfold increase in casual hookups, romances, and engagements within your social circles, it's known as cuffing season. The temptation to jump into a relationship has a physiological basis in loneliness, but this phenomenon is primarily social in nature. As Fusion's expert consultations have noted, the cultural pressure to be in a relationship during the holidays is more to blame than biology. The dopamine released while you are physically near someone else is not present when you are alone. If there's nothing more timely and solid, you might hurry into a codependent, unstable relationship because that lack of warmth would leave you wanting and cold. 6. You pass away more quickly. It's wonderful news for monogamy because married men tend to live longer. But poor news for folks like me, who have neurotic doubts about the institution of marriage itself. I could be overanalyzing things. As a result, you'll live longer and have better health. Life isn't exactly a horror, is it? That's all for today's video. The idea is to generally increase the significance of your alone time by working out, practicing relaxing techniques like meditation, and scheduling work hours to maximize productivity. You may certainly mitigate the detrimental consequences of extended or persistent patterns of solitude by finding a balance between social interaction and thoughtful alone time. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button to avoid missing any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.